Hey guys, it's Brandon, and welcome to Nature Meets Paper, the place where we go on an adventure to discover the world of marine biology. Today's video will be a little bit different than usual. I was going to do my beluga surprise for you all, but my supplies didn't come in the mail until yesterday, and I can't do a week's video in one day. So anyways, I decided that I was going to do my January art challenge for you guys, which is going to be a self-portrait. Uh, this challenge was given to me by Lacry Fine Art. Let's dive in. I got this cool blank surfboard cut out from my local thrift shop and thought it needed more character. So why not do a self-portrait of me surfing? That should be easy. Let me grab a picture of me surfing in Hawaii. Wait, I haven't been surfing. The only thing that I could find is a picture of me standing on a sled, snowboarding at church. This one. Hmm. Oh well, it'll do. So first, I'm gonna work on the wave, making sure that the lightest part of the wave is on top and gradually gets darker. This gives the appearance that there is light coming through the water. Then, I block, block out where the wave is curling over, making sure to use curved paint strokes for the curved wave. I don't want this wave to look too flat, and that's why I'm using curved strokes. When that is done, I can add some of the sea foam going from vertical marks at the top of the wave to more horizontal where the wave gets flatter. Now that I have my wave looking how I want it, I can work on myself. So I work on the clothes first, making sure to get my darks dark enough and my lights light enough. Starting on my shorts, and then I work on into my shirt. After all of this is done, and I get the look how I want it, I start to work on my skin. Now, I know in my reference photo I'm wearing winter clothes, but I have plenty of other photos of me in Hawaii with these similar kind of clothing. So I can just mental photoshop that in. It is time, I like how this looks. It is time to let it dry and add glitter. I add glitter to my water pieces to give the painting life. Water is always dancing in light and I want my paintings to dance in light as well. Seems to give it more character. Thank you all for watching. I'm currently working on my website with my friend Jared. We're trying to get it all together and put together a store section for you all. 
I want my store to have a section where you can buy my originals if you're interested, my prints, and a section where you can ha have me commission a painting for you. But for, the, but for the meantime, if you want to contact me, I'll put links down below. Uh, you can contact me on Facebook, on my, or on my Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, and my Google Plus page. Remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and go ahead and subscribe for more content. I've been Brandon, and I'll see you in the next adventure.